Hey guys, what's up? It's Deliosis. Finally got around to making that a Sony Hi-Fi system review. This time I have a lamp. I'm filming it with my iPhone so I can I have a that flashlight thing. I'm just gonna leave that on so you don't get don't have that dark video like last time. It's kind of embarrassing. Cause that I think it's the most viewed video on my channel and it's pretty bad quality. Anyway, um so this is it. I have a, a nice light. I'm going to answer some of you guys' questions of this. So, first of all, let's just kind of go review. Get your eye. It's like basically equivalent to a high-end iHome because I believe it's 80 bucks off the refurbished uh, Sony site. That's where I got it about a year ago. Not sure if it's still available there or at all, but, you know, you guys asked for another review, so I'm making one. It has a power button, function button, which you can cycle through radio, iPod, audio in, and... Um, CD, and the audio in jacks right there, CD, and then pause, stop, you can navigate through like iPod and stuff, and other buttons that control it a little bit, but volume knob obviously, and inject. Oh, one question, i go over the, f uh, one question was, uh, does it work with iPhones? And yes it does, I checked it with an iPhone 4, which is the equivalent basically to a, or a same size as an iPhone iPhone 4S and um, so yeah it, it works with iPhones just be warned that I have an uh, OtterBox commuter case and it wouldn't fit with uh, the case because the case you know it, it's a pretty short little dock thing which is true with most docks that you can't really use it with a case but um, you know, it just uh, it won't work with the case, so just either take the case off, don't use a case, or use one of the ones that can disconnect from the bottom, and then it'll work fine. It c does come with these little templates. Not really sure. They're all there's some different sizes, but I'm not sure which ones for which. Tried using them one time, and I think it almost made it worse. But it, it works just fine without a dock, so I'm just gonna I just do that. Um, so here's it comes with an antenna for radio. And you plug into the back and. That's what it looks like, the input and everything. Um, back. One question was, does it have red and white cables imports on the back? No, it does not. Unfortunately, I believe so. I'm not sure what these two notches are for. They could be, maybe you could add something else. Not completely sure. See the refurbished sticker right there. So... They might be something, I don't really think so. I'm not really an audio professional sort of thing, so couldn't tell. But right now, the only two labeled uh, imports are for the speakers. So you got speakers left and right, and then for the antenna. So, and then I have the speaker uh, cables right here. So you got a, um, I'm really not sure if these are just like a standard cable for speakers. I don't believe so. So, but, um, so those are the speaker cables that connect to those speakers. So, in my opinion, overall, this system is a lot better than iHome just because it has the better speakers. Because it pretty much has all the same systems. It doesn't have an alarm, though, which sometimes I kind of wish it does, but it's not too big of a deal for me, at least. So, um, you can go pick up an alarm tiny alarm clock for like 10 bucks at the store so yeah I mean it's I like it a lot better I've been using it for a year and I totally dig it it's really great with my MacBook because um, with the audio in instead of using these the crappy MacBook speakers everybody knows they're just pretty bad you just I would use a headphone jack headphone to headphone jack cord thing <laughs> and uh, plug that into the headphone jack Plug it in the audio in, and then you can everything on the MacBooks play through the speakers. Obviously, so that makes it sound a lot better. But if you want to listen to music or something, and they actually the speakers play pretty loud. I can th hear it throughout the whole house. See ya.